Hey, good morning. So it is, uh, it's December 12th, Sunday morning. And uh, I got one person coming today to get a pallet of feed. And uh, I had one guy order like 18 pails. So I do got to pail that up because they're going to come Monday and get them. But other than that, we're going to, uh, we're going to go on our Christmas tree hunt. So we, uh, this will actually be our second Christmas in that trailer kind of plans changed around on us when we moved out here from town we were only gonna live in that trailer for like a year and uh get working on our our new house now Corey has the house plans drawn up and she had quotes out and she had things kind of lined up and then we all know what hit us in 2020 so everything kind of got sides uh set off to the side got uh, got shelved because although a guy needs a place to live, we weren't willing to uh, just shell out like a, you know just a, a, a absurd amount more. It was about eighty to a hundred thousand dollars more uh, to build our house. So we said, you know what, that trailer it's decent enough, three bedrooms, and uh, it's, it's a nice warm place, so can't complain about that. So this will be our second winter in there. She uh, she is moving forward with the actual real house. She's got uh, quotes back out to a couple of builders. So hopefully this summer. Okay, so we just uh, put a bunch of straw bales in for brownie, for the steers and the horse, and for the pigs. It's supposed to get down to minus 20 here for the next week. Uh, even highs of minus 20, minus 18. So. We just want everybody to be nice and warm, have the hay and straw to lay on and eat and everything else. So uh, often the smaller amount of animals that you have, the better, well, they, the, I shouldn't say the better they get treated, but uh, I guess the more time you have for each individual animal. So these guys are pretty spoiled. Um, so up here where the animals are is just right across this little path. From the shop so real close and uh just up this little path is our bins and uh you can see the big machine shed that we just built my feed shed is right there and the trailer is just on the other side of these trees so pretty tight yard uh we didn't know where we were going to put the house we thought we might move the trailer and put it where the trailer is uh so on and so forth however having another place for people to stay on the farm probably will be beneficial if we ever end up in a situation where we need a hired hand for a season or something we'll have a place for them to stay and right here is where we're going to build the house so it's just across from the critters just a little bit southwest of the shop we're planning to uh, peel the shingles off that side and tin it like we did the other side put a door in the back of the shop so we can get in from the house and uh the uh the dozer man he was here when he did this sh machine shed pad and cleared those trees he pushed all these but then uh he had a bunch of work to do in the oil patch so he loaded the dozer up and he took off when he comes back however he's gonna whack out all of these trees we're trying to leave some of the uh some of the spruce trees and stuff like that poplars can go because they suck and they just die and fall over anyways so we are going to start our christmas tree search here because not all of these trees are going to stay these spruce trees some are going to have to go and as you can see they grow quite ratty when they're amongst the poplars and uh really the only good parts are right at the very top so if you watched my video last year of the great christmas tree hunt we cut down like a <laughs> i don't know a hundred foot tall tree just to take the top off so uh i am going to go back and get that tree i haven't yet uh so it should be good and aged and dried now we are going to go back and get that tree bring it out knock the limbs off chop it up for firewood because it'll make awesome awesome firewood but uh that's what we're looking at here we're going to see if any of these trees at the very top look like they might make a good christmas tree and then we'll uh chop it down and go from there if not there's uh there's property all around here that we can go on to and find a christmas tree so i don't uh, i don't think we'll get skunked
Right. Well, some after uh, after some quick measuring here, uh, that's a perfect tree for our uh, for our little living room. So we uh, in our house in town we had a we had a fake tree always, and it was big, but we had a really big living room. So this little trailer we don't have the space, and uh, I mean the kids are pretty small yet anyways, so they'll be able to reach around and decorate it. We're just gonna run in the house, tidy up the living room a little bit. I'll carry this over there, and. Uh, It'll be a Sunday trimming the tree day. <laughs> 